This is crime. This is theft. It's child abuse. It's assault and battery. And in some cases, it's murder. 45 years living in this stuff. There's no dollar amount in this world that can solve the issues and problems that we are dealing with. It's been nearly five years since the EPA relisted Upper Ringwood as a Superfund site after Ford Motor Company contractors dumped huge swaths of paint sludge from their Mawa plant there decades ago. We're still talking about some of the same issues, still trying to figure out how much sludge, how much poison Ford dumped up here. The Upper Ringwood community is an old iron mining region that's been home to the Ramapo Mountain Indians for generations. This is still where we live. And you know, and the contamination is still there. Over time, the community has blamed the pollution for a multitude of illnesses. Yeah, there's too many around here that's been of cancer and died of cancer. I, I actually think the this sludge comes because it. Ford has always denied responsibility for the illnesses, and a connection has never been proven. Ford is committed to addressing the paint sludge issues at the site and making sure that's done correctly. In 2005, the record's award-winning series, Toxic Legacy, outlined Ford's dumping in the community. I mean, what, what happened in this community was really, you know, a fundamental breakdown in the democratic process. 700 former and current residents sued Ford and other polluters. Ford knew that this waste was toxic and they deliberately uh, and negligently poisoned the people's land. A settlement was reached in September 2009 for a modest $12.5 million, and the max payout is just under 35000 but many received far less. The amount given was a pittance compared when you look at board. Some of our folks are only going to get $1,000. You know, how much is a life worth? How much is your health worth? Ringwood had been a Superfund site in the 1980s, and after four failed attempts, the EPA is back again. Our goal is clearly to make sure that we address all the contamination related to the site, and that this is the last time that we have to uh, come out here and basically clean up the site. But the cleanup is far from over, and residents have grown frustrated at the slow pace. Happy that a lot of the material left. Yes, I am. But I mean, it's like, I, I wished we were a lot farther ahead. Take it out, it's five years. It's like, they're waiting for us just to all drop dead, in my opinion. I think it could be years and years and years from now, and probably myself and maybe many more in the community will never see the cleanup. For the complete story, see Toxic Landscape, Ringwood, five years later, in the Sunday and Monday editions of The Record, and on NorthJersey.com.